So, you are here. I have been awaiting your arrival. If you wanted to see me, you shouldn't have allowed my execution. You are speaking with emotion, not logic. The hybrid sees all, so did you order my death, or just allow it? Was it my past that condemned me? The past? is irrelevant. Only the future holds any importance. If my past is irrelevant, why did you put a chip in my head to control my thoughts? The chip improves efficiency. If the chip hadn't been damaged, you would not be asking this question. You would know that true understanding is only possible through me. Join the Chosen and you will know the meaning of our work. The same promise you have made to the Alps since you took control. I came here for answers, not more empty promises. More emotion. Your personal quest is meaningless. If you think your actions now have consequence, you are mistaken. Your arrival here is proof that you are closer to the next step in evolution than any of your kind. But there are things you are yet to understand. My kind? I'm not the person I was. I am no longer your slave. You will always be an Alb. All you have accomplished must have proved to you that no individual can accomplish things alone. True strength lies in the collective consciousness. What the free people think is irrelevant. But you, Jax, you must understand the truth. The comet that destroyed Magalan's civilization did not arrive by chance. It was sent to begin the changes to our world, to prepare it for those who follow. There is nothing we can do to stop this. We can only be ready for their arrival. That is the truth I have guarded, and I have been preparing our world for this day. If you really know the future, then tell me what will happen. The world, as you know it, will not exist in a few years. All life that remains will be forced to obey those who come to us now. They will obey, or they will cease to exist. The world must be changed before they arrive. Elix will see to that. But we must prepare people and gather the Elix that will make the changes that must come. Who is coming? Those who will inherit our world. The further I evolve, the more I can hear their voices. First, as whispers. Now, as minds I can commune with. Can we stop them? They can divert comets and send them across vast distances. Their power is well beyond our own. If individuals aren't important, then why do we need you? My destiny was set the day the comet struck our planet. Elix transformed me. It was an accident of fate, no plan of those who follow. But it has made me their emissary. You think you fight to save our world, but it is me and me alone who can do that. You have accomplished much, Jax, but your work is worse than futile. You think of yourself as a savior. But if we stand against these beings, 
we will all perish. Now, at least the Chosen will survive. You don't expect me to believe all of this. I foresaw the day the comet would strike our world. I was there when it hit. All my words, all my warnings, all were ignored. The world refused to listen until it was too late. That day, the Elix changed me. I was reborn, evolved. I failed to save us then. I will not fail again. The free people cannot be allowed to stand in our way. Their infighting had long stopped them from successfully interfering with our plans. All the Elix on Magalan shall be required if we are to stand against the coming threat. You once followed my word without question. It is a loss to us all that my influence ended with your brother's botched attempt to kill you. But now, you know the truth and you can complete our vision together. The free people will never believe your story. Their beliefs have no meaning. There is only fact. Is your mind so clouded you can no longer see the truth? The desires of the free people are meaningless. Will you die with them? Why not work with the free people to stop these invaders? Maybe if we fight on the same side, we can defeat these beings together. The free people are using Elix in their technology, their world hearts, and their magic. They are blind to its true purpose. Elix was sent here to change our planet in preparation for those who follow. Nothing can be allowed to stop that change. The free people understand nothing but their own personal vengeances. That is why the Alms live without emotion. That is why the Alms have succeeded. Imagine what they could achieve if you worked with them. They have no interest in peace. They crave only their personal victories. Hate, emotion, and greed drives their conflict, and it will be their end. Is there no one amongst the free people who could join the Chosen? Thorald, the Pilgrim, was the closest to defeating me. His powers would be helpful to us, but no, his emotions and self-doubt meant he needed another mage. That was his downfall. He is too emotional as well. The mage's connection to Elix was so strong that Thorold lost control of her and the Elix. My future and that of Magalan was saved by their weakness. Your only interest is your own survival. My vision is the only one way to save Magalan. The Chosen will evolve to serve those who follow. All Elix must serve my purpose. All people must serve me. I didn't come here to let you rule this world. Your time is over. My emotions don't cloud my mind. They have made me realize things about the world I could not have seen before. I did not come all this way to die at your hands. I came here to take back control of my world. Your plans were wrong then. They are wrong now. You are not the superior being you think you are. My past is meaningless. It holds no fear. Your attempt to use it only proves that you cling to the irrelevant. Die now, or die at the hands of those that follow. Your death will be meaningless. Only my survival matters now. <laughs>